Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Capricorn, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Nine of Cups in reverse, okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, eight of Swords. Well, you felt very, very dissatisfied in this connection. For some of you, you are blocking this person or you're energetically blocking this person or you, you could have just outright blocked this person from social media and everything. Or it's simply with the nine of wands, the reason you are very, very defensive with, when it comes to this person is simply because you feel very dissatisfied in this connection. With the nine of cups in reverse, you felt like you were dealing with someone who was too selfish and who just kept putting their wishes, whatever they wanted first, and you just came last. Whatever you wanted or you even came last and everything they wanted or they came first here. You also have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck and Ten of Swords. The Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. Temperance will in this way. Okay. Yeah, you, you are definitely in that energy of I need to protect my feelings. You have a lot of empathy and compassion for this person. For some of you, you still have feelings for this person, but you are in that energy of I, I know I have feelings for them. I still care about them, but I, I need to have my defenses up. That is why I said that you are blocking this person, but then I got corrected and I got the energy of you are just simply very defensive when it comes to this person because it's that energy of like if I, I don't get for every one of you you are completely over and block this person because with the queen of cups here you do still have empathy and compassion here but you are just deciding to focus on your own comfort and calmness here you, you're just trying to be emotionally stable because you feel like this connection brought in a lot of emotional and stability here because the temperance actually wasn't upright on the deck but when it fell it just fell in this weird neutral position so there was imbalance in this connection here also 14 here right so 5 5 and then we have the uh, 5 and 10 of swords so again 5 in the mix here so 5 5 5 changes you do have a lot of happy memories with this person. You do still think about those happy memories with this person. But it's almost like these happy memories have been tainted. Have been tainted by how this person treated you. Because we do have the five of swords here. So there could have been a huge uh, conflict, argument or whatever. Like whatever energy there was. Because five of swords can be like, sorry, I mean, uh, I'm not reading for one person. So it can be different for different people. But the five of swords in general is conflict argument a lot of disagreements ego clash even very possible or like a lot someone who wants to win at any cost so someone who can be very manipulative with their words so you feel like uh you have a lot of good memories with this person you still think about them queen of cups six of cups you still think about them you still miss them but at the same time you feel uh, like this these happy memories these good time good times have been tainted by what this person did here like almost you like a, i heard someone shying almost like i don't know why i got that but I, I heard someone who's sighing. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's sort of like very defeated kind of energy. Like 
you leave, uh, you feel very defeated when you think of this person or think of this connection here like like it was so good it was so good between the both of us i i cared about them so much but this person literally doesn't want to invest in this connection for the long term so why should i keep putting myself in front of this person i don't know why i'm getting in front of this person so why should i keep putting myself in front of this person and keep getting hurt over and over because he does have 10 swords behind him not one sword one sword right so it's very possible you have felt betrayed by this person over and over again you could have given this person multiple chances as well here because of which you felt very betrayed like you felt like 10 swords behind you eight of swords uh is also here so eight of swords is like uh, you do have like you do think negatively of the situation and this connection right now or it's very possible you felt like this person you know like you you felt like you couldn't leave this person you couldn't get over this person but at the same time this person was not really treating you well so you were sort of stuck in between of what do i do now because this person isn't treating me well so what do i do now because i still have love empathy and compassion for this person I still have some good memories with them. But at the same time, this person is not treating me well. So what should I do here? Could have been a difficult decision you had to make here because eight and ten of swords, two of swords in the mix. So a difficult decision you had to make. A choice you had to make. You were almost in this crossroads here because you were feeling the imbalance here. That There was imbalance and you were feeling it. So didn't you already mention you could be dealing with the Sagittarius here? We do have only one major arcana. You felt like it was very, it could have been a very extreme kind of a connection as well. You know, high highs and low lows as well. You're, or you felt very extreme, like you you felt like at one moment you, because you had a lot of love, empathy, compassion for this person, you felt very good or positive about this person. And the next moment this person did something to betray your trust or betray you in a way and you felt very negative. So, you know, like positive and negative, there was never just balance in the emotions, There's also the nine of wands and queen of cups is simply you protecting your space, your energy and your feelings almost. I got like you protecting your feelings here. Nine of cups in reverse can talk about someone like you could have be feeling like very, very depleted here, like almost like exhausted and you know like given up because 10 of swords is a painful energy eight of swords and 10 of swords is a painful energy not to mention eight of swords is negative a lot of negative thinking as well here so it's very possible that you have been in a period where you have oh you have been overthinking about this situation about this connection for a while again overthinking does lead to <coughs> excuse me i should have had water i've been talk talking for a while here okay so um yeah eight and ten of swords so you could have been overthinking a lot as well here because of this person or whatever happened which is which can become very exhausting also there's in five and eight of swords here three of swords in the mix again pain heartbreak Three of swords, ten of swords, very painful energy here. All right. Also, we have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. That is again like standing your ground and fighting for yourself. Um, standing up for yourself as well. Because you have had enough. That's what I got here. You have had enough. I mean, come on, the ten of swords is here. So, of course, you have had enough. gonna take that could be dealing with the taurus come on come on
yeah didn't i say ego clashes between the both of you five of wands talks exactly about that we are the five of swords in your energy so the conflict argument between the both of you and now we have the five of wands in this person's energy so there was definitely a could have been a huge fight between the both of you you know and the fight went out of hand everything blew out of proportion and then it just became a ego war between the both of you and there was a lot of tension between the both of you like a lot of uh, it could have been just very very tense kind of uh energy between the both of you again a lot of like no peace here it's all it almost felt like there was no peace here or you didn't feel at peace when you were in a connection with this person like it was like the tension was too much again five of wands is again a very draining energy five of swords is a draining energy five of wands in a draining energy if you are if you stay in the five of wands five of swords energy for too long you will feel this nine of cups in reverse energy ace of cups the temperance again <laughs> okay come on the five of uh, swords did show up here so yeah i was just talking about the five of swords five of wands and both did, did show up one above the other. Again, uh, 14 here, so 5, 5, 5, 5. We saw that 5, 5, 5 energy in your side. We saw we are seeing the 5, 5, 5 energy in this person's side. A lot of changes here. It's almost like it's very possible you were dealing with someone who's refusing to change. Like that that could have been why this conflict was between the both of you this person just was refusing to change here they were refusing to change their ways and that is what is possible because of because of which you have the ten of swords as i said you could have given this person multiple choices so you might have expected that this person is eventually going to change you know eventually they are going to change eventually this person will see your worth eventually this person will realize that they do have feelings for you or you care about them so much but that it's almost like that eventually didn't even come you waited for them for long enough but that eventually didn't even happen and you it could have become like you could have ended up becoming bitter when it comes to this person here because again it's almost like you were waiting you were giving them chances you were but this person just kept messing over and over here could have been someone who you know like listened this this could be someone again take it only if it resonates this could be someone who listens to other person's opinions a lot as well Again, we have only one major arcana here, the temperance. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We do have three, uh, three swords card and then the queen of swords. So you could be dealing with the air sign here, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is someone who's feeling very, very over emotional right now. I didn't mention right high highs and low lows that is what this person is feeling one moment this person feels all good and sorted the next moment this person feels very down in the doldrums not to mention this person is thinking that you are judging them you are judging them you know it's like you are being very very cold-hearted here You are being selfish. That is what this person is thinking. You are being selfish. You are being cold hearted. And it's like this person is just annoyed with that. Queen of Swords is someone who just cannot think straight. They cannot think straight here. And that's what the issue with this person. They can't think straight right now. Not to mention Queen of Swords upright is a good energy. Queen of Swords upright is a good energy. That is someone who's honest, who is decent, who is... I don't know why I got the word decent um basically someone who you can trust they have strong morals and everything queen of swords and reverse is exactly that energy you might have it's this energy this is what i'm picking up on you are thinking that this person is very selfish and they are they they lie they uh they they, they were never honest to you or whatever and this person is thinking that you are you are being very very selfish right now you are being cold towards them so it's almost like you both are sort of looking at each other in not a very good way right now it's like mirroring energy here now for some of you this person is actually just trying to be you know like we also have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so ace of cups and ace of wands here um 
forgot what I was saying. Okay, yeah, uh, thank you. For some of you, this person is actually just, you know, like they're trying to be patient, you know, like I'm going to be just patient. I'm not going to lose my cool. I'm, I am, I'm very cool, calm, collected and uh, uh, it, it doesn't it's not bothering me it's not bothering me i'm fine again a very like sort of like uh if this it's this energy of this person feels like if they accept that they are not fine then their ego is gonna get bruised here and they don't want their ego to be bruised like their ego is still very important for this person here so they feel like if they accept that they are not good without you then they will be the one who is defeated here and with the five of swords, as I said, this could have been the kind of person who wants to win at all cost. This could be this person's energy here. So again, that stems from their from ego and pride. No one, the heart doesn't care about these things or the soul. So yeah, this person's ego is, it's like they are trying to protect their ego and they are tr not trying to lose it. But inside this person is just blaming you. They're pointing fingers at you. It's also very possible this person is trying to, you know, like they are trying to hang out with their friends or act all chill with their friends or, or co-workers or whatever, like go drinking, partying and act all chill and like, mm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. I'm fine. But inside this person is that queen of swords in reverse and ace of cups, very like overly emotional. Uh, at one moment, this is, they are too emotional. The next moment, this person is just blaming you overthinking being very very negative this is also i don't know why i got the queen of swords in reverse what i got is this person is judging themselves as well here like they are beating themselves up and going why are you overthinking about this what's the big deal you know that ego voice constantly going in this person's mind why are you thinking like that what's the big deal capricorn never cared about me maybe you know, that sort of a thing here. That's what I'm getting. It's like someone who's a whiny kind of an energy here. Okay, I'm going to clarify something here. Well, look at that ace of cups ace of wands ace of pentacles three aces in this person's energy hmm. it's it's his energy of this person really wants this is what i'm getting here three aces uh this person really wants a new beginning here but it's like they don't want to lose here they feel like if they approach you with the this offer they are going to be the one who lo loses here again you know like their ego is as, as i said this person's ego is going off constantly over and over like um they are gonna get lose here you are going to win they are going to lose and their ego just can't handle that even though this person three aces aces talks about new beginning they really want the new beginning but their ego just keeps winning here this person's ego is winning and that is why this person with the three of cups and the temperance, they are trying to keep that poker face and they are trying to act all chill and cool. They don't want to lose their calm at all. Neither does this person. It's almost like this person feels like if they approach towards you, if they admit that they miss you, they are thinking about you and they are wrong here, then this person, like they... Uh, they are going to come up as someone who is weak in front of others. I don't know why it matters this person cares so much about what others think. But it's very possible this person just has people pleasing 
tendencies because of which this person cares a lot about what others will think or it's just like this person is like i don't know like <laughs> yeah they're people pleaser sort of and that is why this person cares so much about what others will think here it's like they they have to keep up their face they have to keep up the mask here And this is a change this person is resisting. Yeah, look at that star. I was, I was about to keep this deck, but I randomly felt like I wanted to pull the top of the deck. You have the star here, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Well, finally, we have another major arcana. Yeah, they want to heal this. They really want to heal this. But it's like they need to let go of their ego here. It's almost like it, it could have become a Mexican standoff between the both of you. We also have the hermit here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but yeah, this person does miss you. They miss you. They think about you, and they do feel lonely. So no matter what, this person could be partying, doing whatever, but they feel lonely at the end of the day. What I, I don't know why I randomly got keep checking their phone. It's very possible this person is looking at. Uh, am I holding the deck in reverse? Yeah, this person could be looking at uh, pictures of you both together, that kind of energy I'm getting here. Okay. Also pulled the hangman here. I ended up pulling two cards, but yeah, could be dealing with the Pisces. Well, they feel happy with you. Look at that eight and ten of cups, two of cups in the mix. This person is trying to run away from their own feelings. They are trying to run away from the fact that they feel so happy with you. They feel good with you. For some of you, this person is actually trying to focus on their money as well. Here, like, again, King of Pentacles is, I'm getting that very stubborn energy from this person. It's almost like they just won't budge. They just won't bend. Uh, you could be dealing with another earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hence this uh, stubbornness here, almost like with this person here. But King of Pentacles is like, the King of Pentacles is someone who sees long term. King of Pentacles isn't about the short term goals That's or instant gratification. That's not what the King of Pentacles is about. So this person definitely sees, they feel that they can build a future with you. They can definitely have a future with you and that is going to be a very, very happy future. But it's this energy with the Eight of Cups here. This person is like, they are stubbornly trying to not think about this, not think about the future you can have. Or they, they are very stubborn here. It's almost, I don't know why this person has so much stubbornness, but it's like they literally are trying to um, pretend that, they could be just trying to pretend, like show you that they can walk away. Like it doesn't matter. I can totally walk away from this. That's what this, this person is trying to show you. I don't know why they're trying to show you, but this is what they're trying to do here. <laughs> what is it with this person? Yeah, see, look at that. Bottom of the deck is Emperor, World, Four of Pentacles. Yeah. And look 
get that ten of pentacles and that is your energy could be dealing with another capricorn here but that is your energy they see this future with you this is i'm not getting any toxic energy from this uh, devil card here this is this just feels like your energy so yeah they see a future with you ten of pentacles ten of cups i was just checking their feelings and yes they do have feelings for you they do see a future with you but king of pentacles and emperor this person is very stubbornly doing that my way or the highway attitude right now and it and me as a reader i just don't understand why this person is doing this it's almost like oh uh, their stubbornness their pride this my way or the highway that ego that strong stubborn ego and me i can't lose i can't seem weak i can't be defeated that is what is winning for this person this is someone who has self sabotaging issues and they might have sabotaged this this could be someone who sabotages good things in their life they just that's what this person does and this is like the universe pushing them uh pushing this person to overcome this energy because until and unless they truly overcome this energy they won't be able to it's it's like they will keep sabotaging things in their life and you could have triggered this thing in this person like you were the one who triggered this person into seeing and realizing that they have these issues like they have this stubbornness you are triggering this by not giving to this person by being defensive towards this person you are triggering this person's ego and pride it's literally like it's almost like this person could be someone who was very controlling as well again i'm getting this randomly take it only if it resonates this person could have been someone who was very very controlling i talk very fast because i feel like i'm going to forget what i want to say uh they could have been very very controlling and right now you being defensive you having your guards up is making this person feel like they can't control you anymore and that is again what is hurting this person's ego and pride because they really thought that they were in control of the situation this person is a control freak you are dealing with they do have self destructive behavior If I did not already mention, you could be dealing with an Aries or fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Well, this is someone who's stalking you, definitely, keeping an eye on you, keeping tabs on you. What on the deck we have? Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers. third reading i'm do doing today and the lovers came out in all the three readings all right anyways you could be dealing with the gemini here yeah this person dreams about you they dream about you they dream about having a future with you they dream about this connection they just can't help it they this uh, you both could be very telepathically connected to each other again you could be seeing numbers i did get right 555 in your energy 555 in this person's energy and i already said you are, you both are mirroring each other so it's very possible this person is seeing numbers this person is seeing signs synchronicities they are suddenly reminded of you they see someone who's like you and it could be happening for the both of you it doesn't have to be one sided here it's very possible for the both of you this is happening so but but this person can't get you out of their head especially at night they can't help it but think about you and think about this connection and they definitely stalk you no matter what i'm getting here with the page of swords and the knight of pentacles no matter what this person is doing throughout the day they still take out the time to stalk you 
I did mention already, right? This person could be going through their phone. I think I said that, or didn't, or am I just imagining it? I don't remember. But I think I mentioned like going through their phone, um, looking at your picture. So yeah, page of swords. That is someone who's definitely stalking you. And three of pentacles page of course this person does want to apologize they do want to talk to you they do want to apologize this is a true intentions by the way so they do want to talk and apologize because this is what the heart wants right but then their ego comes into play then that me me i i comes into play and that's where everything just gets ruined but the heart wants what it wants And they want to make this work out with the three of pentacles. Again, that strong energy of this is what I got here. And it's so funny because, you know, like someone who's busy throughout the day, someone who's doing their work, but no matter how busy they are, they, they find the time, they take the time out to stalk you or collect information about you to keep tabs on you, whatever. Bottom of the deck is judgment. I saw the judgment while I was pre-shuffling this deck here, this particular deck while I was pre-shuffling, I saw it more than five or six times here. Like every time I was cutting the deck to shuffle, I saw the judgment. And I was surprised that the judgment didn't come out in this deck, but it came out in this one. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer here. Or oh, this person has to get out of their head. They have to overcome that ego here. And it's going to take this person time because with the chariot and the judgment, this is who will come towards you for the second chance, second chance, sorry. But it's going to take this person time because that ego needs to go for this person. That stubbornness, that ego, that me, I, I cannot lose, I cannot give in is what I heard. That needs to go for this person. And these are all like um, major arcanas, right? So this is going to be a major transformation for this person. When this person comes in, we also have the page of wands in reverse and uh, the bottom of the deck. So when this person comes in, this is going to be a very different and transformed person. This is not going to be the same version you have, you have met earlier. But that's that energy of the nine of wands again. You're not going to trust this person. Neither are you going to trust this person's offer. You will think that they are the same person that they used to be. But this is this, this is someone who will come like uh, going to be a different version of who they used to be. right well that's your reading capricorn i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye